Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you, I don't know why I laugh at myself. I don't actually talk like that in real life. I have like zero enthusiasm. Anyway, hi. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. And today I am taking you with me to two Home Depot locations somewhere in Connecticut. I will leave the exact locations somewhere for you in the description and yeah they kind of had the same stuff that everybody's been having but I've been holding out waiting hoping for new trending tropicals but I don't know why I just did that but I haven't found any yet so I will be going on the hunt this weekend which is when this video will be going up so hopefully as you're watching this I'll be on the hunt getting good footage for you guys that's a little bit more updated on what's going on since this was a few weeks ago that I filmed this but with that said they did still have some pretty decent stuff some trending tropicals and some you know cute things so let's get into the video I will see you at the end stay tuned to the end because it helps me I appreciate it I'm gonna stop talking now Pressure Pants also wanted to let you know that you shouldn't skip the ads, right? Because that's how YouTubers make money. And if you watch even just 30 seconds of the ad before skipping it, it really helps us out. Right, Bubba? So mommy can keep buying you chicken. Because I need chicken. I'm a big boy. I eat a lot of food. Okay, fam, so we are here at a Home Depot location somewhere in central Connecticut. Honestly, can't remember. I have been to so many Home Depots and Lowe's in the last few weeks, and I just can't keep up, but I will figure out exactly where these locations are, and I will leave them in the description box below. I highlighted that little tag there that said to put two ice cubes in the plant once a week because please don't put ice cubes in your plants like they don't actually like cold water they actually absorb warm water better so please don't cold shock your plants by putting ice cubes in there anyway back to the video they had some really really cute orchids in these adorable little pots i definitely wasn't mad at it i've been kind of getting into orchids i have two at this moment in time i don't feel like i need more especially not the phalaenopsis i have been wanting a couple of others but we'll get there we will get there because like these little ones are absolutely adorable for ten dollars i also wanted to just mention how funny it is that they call this a tropical event because there's like literally nothing tropical about it but it's fine like where's the event did i miss it because i'm not really seeing anything special here um this cute little planter was like low-key adorable it was actually kind of heavy just like a wooden box with a couple of snake plants in it sounds very uh, slash dracaena whatever floats your boat some more money trees i really like these pots some sad some sad polka dot plants going on back there too when do they not look sad i feel like they're only happy for like five minutes when you first buy it and then they just end up looking like that and then down over here we have some what are these called crocodile ferns or something they're really cool i like the texture on the leaves 
And then over here, we just kind of have your regular, degular, assorted foliage. I am a huge fan of these Syngoniums for $5.99, but they're not a huge fan of me. I don't know. I've had like three or four different Syngoniums in my plant parenthood, and I've killed all of them. So I don't really know what they want from me. I guess probably more water, but... Yeah, that's not going to happen. Anyway, lots of croton, and then they have this cute little goldfish plant hiding over here. I think these are adorable. I just genuinely do not have space for one. Like I mentioned in my last video, I'm trying to keep my collection to the plants that really bring me joy and stay away from the ones that I don't need. So I think this is a fern. It's super cute. We don't do ferns, though. And a Fetonia, also super cute. We don't do Fetonias. Cute little Dracaena. Can't go wrong with a Dracaena. They just take up space in my collection, though, so I don't buy any. Lots of bamboo. Can't go wrong with bamboo, either, if you're looking for a plant that you just, like, will not kill. Lots of spider plants, some hanging baskets of Christmas cactus, Thanksgiving cactus, I don't know, Easter cactus, I don't, I don't know what the difference is. And then we have this cute little creeping fig for $17, like an obnoxious amount of creeping figs, like who? even buys all of these i don't know some pretty hanging ferns again lovely i love the way that they kind of just create an instant like jurassic feel almost but they just they're they're too thirsty i have one fern and i ended up giving it to my mom because she likes to overwater her plants so it's very happy in her care some cute little variegated elephant bush here for five bucks. I struggle with these plants, even though they're beautiful, so we don't we don't do that. This beautiful Haworthia, I'm kind of low-key obsessed with Haworthias, but they don't necessarily always love me back. So if it doesn't call my name, we leave it in the store for somebody else to hopefully not murder. So this cute little variegated umbrella tree. And then we got some purple waffle hiding over there. This is a Sissus rotund rhombifolia. I was going to say rotunda rhombifolia. It's usually just indicative of like the shape of the leaves. It looks too much like ivy for me, but it is cute if you're into that. And then I think this is a Calathea. It's fuzzy. I like it. But yeah, no, those don't like me back either. So we just don't do that. And these anthuriums were really pretty for $16.98. And then over here, we had some really cute Rex begonias for $10.00. I love the cute little pink markings on these leaves. I have this one at home. It's actually surprisingly doing really well for me. I got it in a Home Depot a couple of months back and it's in the greenhouse. Living its best life. This one was super cute. I love the silvery leaves and then I think they had like maroon on the back. And I don't, I just, I don't know why I didn't buy it. I should have bought it. If I find another one, I'll buy it. I just, I don't need more Rex begonias, you know? Like, I have a couple, they're doing well, but do I really need more, you know? I don't know. And then over here, we just had some more assorted foliage from Costa Farms. Nothing exciting really going on here. Just these beautiful Syngoniums that I can't bring home. So it's fine. It's totally fine. 
And then over here they had some cute aloe and some snake plants and different succulents in these decorative pots that were actually pretty cute. I like the texture. This succulent was adorable. It kind of looks like cabbage. You cabbage. Um, yeah, no, I don't make a habit of buying succulents anymore unless it's really unique and something that I don't often see. So they also had some cute little cacti and stuff going on down here. Little fairy castle cactus. I have one of these. It's really easy to take care of. I pretty much just leave it in the corner and ignore it. More succulents and stuff down here. Some echeveria. Some peperomias right here. More of the succulent variety. Some kalanchoe hiding over there. Lots of grafted cactus always. And then this cute little echeveria is one of my favorites. A really sad, sad Hoya australis. But I mean like 90% of them that I've seen have been sad. I got lucky and found like one good one and bought it. But otherwise, the rest of them have been looking pretty depressing. And then over here we have our trending tropicals display. Where they have some of these... Watermelon peperomias. Oh, okay. Uh, for for eighteen ninety something, maybe don't do that to see the price because I feel bad for that plant. Just we're not gonna touch it again. And they had another one back here that was looking a little bit better. Some cute little fiddly figs little bambinos and then they had these really really cute begonias and they were huge let me tell you if they weren't so massive i definitely would have snagged one of these for myself because i love me an angel wing begonia lots more fiddles little fiddles and then more succulents of course And over here is where you're going to find a bunch of different aloe varieties, the star aloes. I really like these for $5.98. I have a couple of them myself. I think they're really unique looking and super easy to care for. I just leave them right in my southeast facing window or my southwest facing window, like right in the windowsill. And they are very very happy there plus they're like kind of pokey so my cat doesn't go near them which is good because they are toxic to pets so don't let your pets eat your aloe and this hoya is really really sad they're $12.98 if you haven't been seeing them in your local big box stores it's probably because most of them are really depressing looking i don't know why they thought it was even a good idea to ship them out to the stores looking like that i really like these cute little succulents in these cute little colorful pots the little pink succulent in the little pink pot is like nauseatingly adorable for 448 is that what that said I like the little blue pots too. They provide a really nice contrast and help bring out the color in the succulents, in my personal opinion. I do always like to give these a good look because you never know what you might find hiding in here. I found that variegated Haworthia recently. Sometimes I find some cute little weird cacti and stuff to add to my collection as well. Some aloe vera, which is the only type of medicinal aloe. Do not try and cut open a star aloe and put it on your face, please. I don't know what would happen, but I don't think it would be good. Anyway, <laughs> there's some Tranescantia hiding over here. Some Pilea, some green philodendrons, snake plants ferns like tons and tons of ferns this cute little china doll plant 
it looks really delicate and adorable and yeah so that's it for this video you guys i gotta get out of this home depot and take this mask off okay bye okay fam so thank you for watching the whole video i appreciate you let's take a moment to appreciate the people who actually watch the whole thing because you guys you really carry my channel i appreciate you so anyway i hope that you enjoyed that footage i did pick up okay so i realized that this is not one that i picked up at home depot but i did pick it up during like the same shopping trip as when i was filming this this one i got at lowe's for 9.99 but i wanted to show it to you anyway because i have been seeing lots of watermelon peps with the trending tropicals collection and <laughs> You'll see in a video that I have coming up that you guys voted for. If you haven't voted, you can go to my community page and do that. But yeah, I'm not a huge Peperomia person, but this one's doing okay. So figured she's a bit of a rescue mission, but she's not looking too bad. So anyway, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me and I'll see you in the next one hopefully because the struggle the struggle is real let me tell you to have the motivation to film right now in like the small windows of time that I do have to film it's like really hard but I'm trying so I probably am only going to be doing one upload a week for right now and then hopefully we'll get back to two very soon i appreciate you guys for sticking around if you made it to the end all the way to the end of this video leave me a cat emoji because it was just my cat's birthday so i appreciate you fam and i will see you in the next one bye